Hello, my name is Kevin Wensley. Uh, we're here at the uh, Miami International Boat Show with Hylas, uh, and we're very excited to have the building to design Hylas 48 on display. She's actually only been in the country for about three months and available for viewing, uh, and we've already achieved two significant accolades from the major sailing magazines. Uh, the guys are good friends at Cruising World, gave us a Boat of the Year award for the best full-size cruiser under 48 feet. Uh, and our friends over at Sailing Magazine also gave us a Best Boat Award for our systems and supporting document, and that was all bar none. So I thought it might be fun just to take a look at the uh, the article, see what the judges picked up on, and then have our good friend Christian Shaw, by the service director, just talk a little bit about those items as we walk around okay, the boat. Uh, just before we step aboard, Christian, uh, I think it's worth note, we, we are here at the Miami International Boat Show. Uh, we're amongst some of the world's biggest sailing brands. Uh, and something that the judges said, which is so important, is that their statement was that the Hylas 48 was actually built as a blue water sailing yacht. So what that means to me is that you should never ask a yacht to do something that it isn't designed to do. So with a Hylas, crossing an ocean, doing the global circuit, can always be part of the dream. Anyway, Christian, let's go aboard and have a look. So we're, we're with fuel filters are in with the engine compartment, right? Yeah. Great, so let's open up the engine compartment and take a look at that. Sounds good. We've got good access here on the starboard side. Oh, I see you've got a Raycor down there. Yep. There's a Raycor here. You can check your oil right here. Um, we've got an oil change pump with a, a manifold. So you can change your engine oil, your transmission oil, and your genset oil all from the same manifold. You would just um, take the hose out and put it in a jerry jug and um, uh, select uh, what, you, what you'd like to change, pump the oil into the jerry jug, and then pump the new oil into the um, into oh. the engine. So what about access to the front of the engine? Go ahead and leave that one sure. open. Then. Okay. In, the, uh, in the front of the engine here, um, we've got the um, uh, high output alternator, and you can see this, uh, this uh, nice uh, uh, tensioning system for the, uh, the alternator, and you can very easily Tension the belt with a wrench instead of you know uh, sort of using le lever awkward levers and stuff to do the tensioning. You just um, um, tighten those bolts until you get the proper tension. I like the insulation that's got got there on there. Yeah, there's 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 um, several inches of insulation and um, and as this is a a, uh, a sail drive, it actually keeps the, the noise down uh, quite a bit uh, um, compared to the direct drive. Do you want to open up on the, uh, can we open up from the port side as well, or? Here's a couple more Raycors that we use for the polishing, the fuel, and so forth. Um, we check our, our coolant over on this side, and maybe our, a dipstick for the transmission. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, we've got the sail drive. Yeah. 60, right? and the transmission dipstick on the top there. Yep. So getting access to, I can see we've got the generator up there. That that looks kind of ticklish to try and get to. Is there an easy access for that? Or? Very very easy. And, and also, if you ever do need to do some work in these these doors, just oh nice, slip right off, and you can uh, keep them from swinging around if you're at sea and you need to do some work in there for whatever reason. And if you just come back here. In the head here, we've got access to the genset, so it's, it's quite easy to. This is the service side of the genset, so you check your oil and your coolant and all that from this side. You service it as well. Take change your oil filter and your fuel filter here. Great. So the sail drive. That's this is the first uh, Hylas model with a sail drive on it. Any pros, cons, any advantages, disadvantages that? Uh, well, the, the, the overwhelming advantage that I think everyone's going to really like is just that um, it's quieter, and especially in the aft cabin, uh, because since we don't have a shaft going through the hull, we don't have a strut supporting the shaft, and struts are always in the aft, under the aft cabin, so that translates noise into the aft cabin. So we've eliminated all that, and that's what people are going to love. Yes, the sail drive has uh, a little bit more maintenance, uh, so you, you have to you know, keep on the maintenance schedule, but they become quite reliable, uh, so just... Keep your maintenance schedule, keep your zincs uh, um, uh, changed, and 
it should be uh, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Here, uh, and here we've got uh, just uh, another access to the to the back of the engine. There's a strainer for the uh, Jensen. Yeah, so I noticed we got one last engine access here. Uh, so the engine compartment access. What's what's that about? Anything uh, special that goes on in there? Uh, it's just the uh, the uh, autopilot. Um, we have the autopilot oh, nice. here, and one of the nice things about having the autopilot here, uh, it's it's straight under the helm, and uh, it doesn't make any noise in the aft cabin. A lot of a lot of autopilots are right uh, at the rudder post, and they make a lot of noise when you're just operating normally. If you're trying to sleep. Uh, when you head over that, it's not so great, but, but here you don't even hear it, so it's pretty nice. Great, thank you. Great. Well, thank you very much, Christian, as ever. It's always a great pleasure to hang out with you on a yacht. Um, I think those folks that do get to read these articles, and a big shout out to our friends at Sail Magazine and Cruising World uh, for their um, accolades. Uh, I think those that have read these articles will find what you went through for us on the yacht today is very, very informative. And it'll just flesh out some of the points that these guys touched on. So. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't make it to Miami, don't worry. The Hylus 48 is always available for viewing and test sailing at our year-round uh, service center at Riviera Beach uh, in Florida. So if you'd like to do that or just learn more about any of our yachts, uh, feel free to give me a shout directly. My, my number would be 239-738-8742. Go to our website, hylusyachts.com or email us at info at Hylus Yachts. So this is coming up for the closing stages of the Miami uh, International Boat Show. It's been a lot of fun, uh, and it must be almost time to crack open the bottom of something and relax. Sounds good to me.